Welcome to this demo video for NVIDIA Insight Visual Studio Code Edition. This new toolset is the latest in a series of integrations for CUDA development and debugging that include Insight Visual Studio Edition and Insight Eclipse Edition. Microsoft Visual Studio Code is an increasingly popular tool for code development, and users have been asking for CUDA support for quite a while. Assuming you have the CUDA toolkit installed, there are two other pieces required to get CUDA support integrated into your VS Code environment. The first is an updated version of the VS Code CPP Tools extension. The second is the Insight Visual Studio Code Edition extension, which will be available in the Visual Studio Marketplace. Let's take a look at the environment now that it's all set up. We can see that the OpenCU file with CUDA device code is highlighted correctly, and VS Code understands that we are working on a CUDA application. There are features like code completion and IntelliSense to help out. This workspace has a build task using a makefile configured as well. When we use this to build the application, we see the output in the integrated terminal, and any warnings or errors will be shown in the Problems tool window. Next, let's add a launch configuration to set up debugging. You can see from the options that there's a CUDA configuration to debug with CUDA GDB, so we choose that. Then, fill in the application path, and in this case, there aren't any arguments. The last thing to do is set a breakpoint in the code on the statement of interest. Now let's kick off a debugging session. The application runs until it hits the breakpoint and is now paused in a standard debug environment. This breakpoint is in CPU code, but we can also set one in the device code and continue debugging. The application stops at this point when the line of code in the CUDA kernel is encountered on the GPU. Let's check out what we can see. In the lower left corner, there's session information showing it is in a CUDA debug session. On the side, we have an inspection pane for variables where we can see their values. And remember that these are variables in the GPU memory. Below that is a watch list where we can add specific variables of interest to track. There's also call stacks to show how we got here. Recall that CUDA GPUs are highly parallel processors that distribute work across SMs, warps, and lanes within a warp. The exact SM, warp, and lane we're currently inspecting is called the focus, and you can see it here in the bottom right corner. We can change the focus manually by clicking on it and inputting specific SM, warp, or lane values. This lets us debug any area of the code that may be causing issues, even if they're only occurring on a subset of SMs or warps. There are also standard debugging controls to step over, into, or out of statements in the code, or continue debugging until we hit the next breakpoint. In this case, the breakpoint is in a loop, so we hit it again. Let's remove that breakpoint and set another one further down. Now, when we continue, it runs until it hits this new breakpoint and we can inspect the environment again. We can also set conditional breakpoints with expressions that will only break when the evaluated expression is true. This lets us get even more specific about when and where to break into the debugger. We even have a standard debugging console built in where you can execute CUDA GDB commands, just like the terminal debugging you may already be familiar with. The last feature to show requires a hop over to another machine to do a standard VS Code remote connection. You can see in the lower left that it's connected via SSH to the machine running the CUDA kernels. We can do all the same debugging from here that we could when we were directly logged into that machine. This remote connection workflow is very common with Visual Studio Code developers, so we made sure to support it. It's still early in the development of this brand new integration, and we're actively working on collecting feedback and improving the workflow. Check the details below for info on how you can get your hands on Insight Visual Studio Code Edition. Also follow the links for more information on Insight Visual Studio Code Edition and the other CUDA developer tools we're working on at NVIDIA. Thanks for watching.